What's going on guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're back with some esports boxing club and we're going to be having another look at the alpha. I know you guys have seen a lot of videos on this, but I'm going to be doing my five favourite clips, snippets, moments from the alpha. I'm just going to start real quick by saying my expectations were here and they were blown fucking well out of the way. What It blew me away. It blew me away. And the whole thing is perfect. The video itself was genuinely perfect so i decided to get my five favorite clip snippets maybe even singular punches you guys will see in a moment from that and compile it into this list in particular order from five four three two and then number one and make this video because i just thought it'd be kind of fun to look through the alpha again i i, I love it so much i want to make videos talking about it every day but i can't so i thought i'd do this uh little unique twist so you guys can kind of see what parts for me stuck out the most. before we jump into anything i just like to say real quick thank you for all the huge support we have over three thousand views on my live reaction the videos have been doing so well we've gained 98 subscribers in six days as of recording this we are two subscribers away from 4700 so thank you all from the bottom of my heart for that you guys know i love boxing i love mma i love esports boxing club and uh you know thank you for all the support but i suppose in with number five we have got the faint system they shoot but more specifically the fake hook with the uppercut that comes through what looks like the guard the side uppercut i thought this was just so clean i just loved how the uppercut wasn't a a you know a fist facing outwards it was a sideways I just thought it was so clean, you know, the, the fake to the body, and then you come up with that. I, I, I just loved it. I just thought, you know, for the faint system is perfect. I love the faint system, how they shoot it in the gameplay, but this specifically, the, the fate hook, and then coming up almost like a slipping through the guard, so you're expecting your opponent to drop this, and then this, uh, and then it slides up. I just I, ju I just thought it was amazing, honestly. I can't, I can't even lie. I thought that, you know, it was such a good uh faint and actual punch to throw to show us it was amazing and uh so yeah that was uh one thing that i i loved and right away when i thought of making this this was one of them for sure because i am um, watching it back on the in-depth breakdown i almost lost my shit like looking close at that that faint and then slipping up through the guard real cheeky uppercut if i is what as i called it and uh i thought it was amazing and then on to number four, not so much fighting at the moment. We've got here with movement, and I think you guys already know this was coming. And uh, this is when they're playing as uh, Lyndon Arthur, I think. And uh, they show here him stepping back, that, that boop, boop, boop. So he goes from an orthodox, self or orthodox, self or orthodox. You know, so he finishes on that orthodox stance. And the movement itself is insane. I could have done the whole alpha as top five and just broke it into five clips and said, these are my top five, and it's just, it's just the alpha broken into five parts. Honestly, I could have. But this specific movement was so clean, so perfect, so unscripted. It was amazing. I loved all the movement they done where he's against the ropes like this, bopping and weaving. And when he comes in, he's bopping. Or when he comes in, hands low. Or when he's coming in, his hands are here. He's backing up and his hands are here. I loved it all. I thought it was all fucking amazing. I really did. But this, for me, I was just like, oh my god. The way they've got him moving there just is fucking insane. Like, I could literally watch it again and again. The way they got him moving. But, but. But it was just fucking clean because sometimes, you know, I'm a southpaw. My coaches are very strict. But sometimes when I am moving, I do that, you know. And I, I am very with my feet. I like to move. I like to feel free. Like, there is no restrictions. Like, you know, my boots and my shorts are a part of me. I'm not restricted by anything. I'm moving around. And in my fight, my real fight, maybe I didn't show that. But when I'm at the gym, I just love it. Sometimes I just get in the ring and just move around. And, you know, even when I'm shadowing, I'm I'm moving the ring. And the ring is mine. That's, that's, that's how I felt like watching this clip. I felt like he owns that ring now. The way he's moving he is confident in that ring he's moving freely and to me this could have been number one has there not been so many other great parts don't be wrong that this doesn't mean that the clip in number five is worse than the clip in number one that is not the case at all this is just for me in almost levels of excitement because the faint system is amazing and the footwork system is also amazing it's all fantastic but i just thought i just kind of this was a real struggle to break down to top five by the way guys and to put it in a particular order so moving on to number three, we have got the check hook. And they just showed two check hooks. And the reason this one's my favourite, and the reason it's not the slow-mo one, is because this check hook specifically is the one where David Adlai creates more space after the hook. And like I said, to someone that's relatively quick inside the ring, someone who's a southpaw, my coach has taught me a lot to do these check hooks and move off. And for, for me, this was perfectly, the way he checks, you know, he comes in check hook, and the next thing you know, he's created five or six feet of distance. I just thought the way it moved, the way it flowed, it looked amazing. The only thing I wanted to see was to see what a check hook looks like 
if Eddie Hall then tries to throw a follow-up shot. So let's say David Adelaide checks it. What happens if Hall comes around? Is David Adelaide already out of the way? Or does he get caught on his way back, maybe making him stumble? I don't know as of, as of yet. But I would love to see that. But all in all, this clip for me, you know, as someone that generally loves the check who I think is such a fucking sick move. It's just so fancy. Same as, like, when you kind of drop and then you bing them with one of these, you know, with the, the, I suppose for me, it, obviously I'm dropping here and I'm throwing this straight because I'm obviously southpaw. But this check hook to me was perfect. The first one was great, don't get me wrong. And yes, he could have check hooked and because he stayed in close, he could have bing, bing, binged him and then moved off. But for me, this, you know, he's in the corner. He doesn't want to be in the corner. He check hooks, he creates distance. I just, I just thought it was perfect, honestly. And, uh... Yeah, man, I, that was just something to me. I was just like, oh my God, the check hook is amazing. Then I saw the second check. I was like, oh my God, you can check hook and create distance. You're not check hook them stuck. You can choose to move or you can choose to stay. It is so fucking free, honestly. It's insane. So this had to be there. And this was this was difficult to choose between this, number two and number three. Um, but this this one was uh, at number two. Uh, no, sorry, this one's at number three, my apologies, and uh, it was just fucking epic, and I, I would love to see this with some lighter fighters, really get the speed going to see what happens when someone throws a check hook, and if someone throws a jab at the same time, does the jab, miss the check hook, they lean, catch him with the check hook, and create space at the same time. I just thought it was, um, the space created for me won this, the, uh, the the better check hook of the two, uh, personally, anyways. But, like I said, it's fantastic that they shoot that you can check hook and stay in range, or you can check hook and create distance, because we know that it's free, it's no scripted bullshit. And, just, f honestly, just fucking epic, I could talk about it all day. Now, guys, this is number two, and as you see here, this is the slip counter by Eddie Hall. The slip and hook to the body. I never thought I would say that my second favourite clip was done by Eddie Hall. I never thought I would say that in my entire life, but this is perfect. I have landed this shot maybe once or twice in real life, and it feels so fucking good to land it, honestly. It makes me want to weep. It's so beautiful to land it, honestly. I fucking love it. The way he just... Bing! drops down and bings him with that is just fucking clean as fuck bro god damn it's so nasty and this would have been in first place had this had the first clip not existed but this was fucking awesome man i generally could not get over it the cleaner shot to the solar plex the slipping out the way of the the shot hooking round to the body you know not like slipping and then just stationary Eddie Hall leans, lets himself become almost exposed. Shoot there, the shot comes across here. Bing! And, oh, fucking beautiful. Honestly. Honestly, that is just incredible. I didn't think I'd get so passionate about making this video, honestly. Jesus, I... I'm going to stop trying to say the word honestly because that's getting ridiculous now. Um, but it's, it's, just, it's just crazy. It's just crazy. I fucking loved it. And this that was just... My favourite, arguably my favourite singular shot of the whole trailer of Our Doubt. And as we're going to go on to number one, the reason I'm saying that this is my favourite singular shot is because number one is the only thing that really wasn't multiple, the, is the only one that is multiple shots or multiple movements. And I'm sure you guys did guess it, but number one is the full adrenaline um, zone, I prefer to call it instead of adrenaline mode, uh, by David Adley, where he throws a series of shots, and you know, no matter who dodging them or not, uh, Adelaide is landing in vicious, vicious body hooks. I fucking love the look of the body hooks. I love the speed. You know, even when Eddie Hall leans and the shot misses, David Adelaide is there right away. Bing! Binging him with the body hook. He missed this hook, so he bings him with this body hook. And it's just, you know, Hall's stamina is getting shot to shit. David Adelaide is fucking going off on one, just piecing him apart like a madman. This was, without a doubt, my favourite clip. I fucking loved it. For singular shots, you saw what won. For singular movement, you saw the footwork. And, um, you know, for the faint system, you saw what it was. But this is, without a doubt, my favourite clip. Hands down, it's fucking sick. I love it. Um, but, yeah, man, so that is my top five. I could talk about these clips all day long. But I won't, because I don't want the video to be six hours long. But I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, drop it a like. Let me know your five favourite parts from, or if you agree with me, you know, maybe put my numbers, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, then put the order you would have them in. That's always an interesting thing to, to play. And then I can go through and actually, you know, just go, okay, I agree with you, or I disagree, or, you know, whatever. Um, as always, I try to keep it as positive as possible. Uh, but, yeah, man, these clips fucking blow me away. The adrenaline mode, or adrenaline zone, should I call it, um, was it's just absolutely insane. The way Adelaide throws them strikes is just... It's just a thing of beauty. It really is. Let's just be real. It's a thing of beauty. Every clip that I show you guys here is a thing of beauty. But, you know, all of them could have won first place. All of them could have won second, third, fourth, and fifth. But, hands down, this is maybe the greatest 
first look features trailer thing I've ever seen in my entire life. I am blown away by it every single day that I wake up and it exists. I cannot wait to get my hands on it. Hope the guys at Esports Box Club know how appreciated they are by me and everyone in the community. And if they are watching, because I know they try and watch some videos from people in the community, don't forget to uh, work with me so I can get uh, an early copy of Esports Boxing Club. Uh, I just had to get that out of there because I haven't actually said it publicly that I'd like it. Obviously, I would, and I would smash the shit out of it. You guys already know that, um, that I'd smash the shit out of making videos and uh, have the best content on YouTube. Um, but yeah, man, I'm excited for the game. I just thought I'd make this video because I thought it'd be something interesting. I saw a lot of people just being like, you know, things you might have missed, which I did do. I saw a lot of people doing things you might have missed. I saw a lot of people doing first reactions, which I did do. Um, but I thought for this one, I'd do my five favourite moments of the alpha ga gameplay. But yeah, so um, yeah, don't forget to leave a like. I'm going to stop waffling now. I'm going to leave you guys to your day. I hope you all have a good day, good night, wherever you are. Uh, don't forget to um, drop a like, subscribe down below. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys all enjoyed the video. And I will catch you in the next one. Peace.